Here we are, guys, with a big signing by the Padres. The Padres have just signed a relief feature, Mark Malenkin. So let's read it. San Diego, as I said, out to overhaul their roster this season. The Padres quickly upgrade the rotation and their offense with a flurry of big moves in December. But the goal is to always keep a complete roster that could compete. Let's look at the full thing. Um, but the goal was always... To, I'll just start with the goal. But the goal was always to build a, a complete roster that could, could compete with the Dodgers in the National League West. That left the Padres' bullpen as a lone area that needed to be addressed. And they did so on Friday. San Diego has agreed with a 35-year-old right-hander, Mark Malankin, on a one-year deal, according to sources, the team has not yet confirmed the news, which is pending a physical across 12 big league seasons. Malankin owns a 2.85 ERA and a 2.90 FIP. He is coming off a strong season in Atlanta, which he posted a... 2.78 ERA array over 23 appearances. Malankin also brings a wealth of postseason experience, having reached the playoffs six times with a 3.72 ERA array in the last in, in 20 games. The additional of Malankin's solidifies an already strong bullpen, but one that features a few question marks as things stand. Emilio Pagan and Drew. Pomeranzi are p- posed to compete for the closer role and potentially share it. Behind those two, the Padres have a host of arms who could seize high leverage middle inning roles. It's unclear who will do so. Melanchthon seems ticketed for, for precisely that role, and he should serve as a much-needed right-hand option in the lefty heavy bullpen. Malangan Preserves also creates a bit of long jam for roster spots in San Diego pen. Here's a list of Padres relievers who can't really be optioned optioned to the minor leagues. Malangan, Pomeranzi, Austin Adams, Craig Stamer and John Pierce Johnson, J.V. Gruyere, and Dave Altarvilla. Sorry if I butchered any of their names. Beyond that group, Pagan is a lock, and both Matt Starman and Tim Hill are likely to incur bullpen spots. This is this. That list also doesn't include high upside young arms like Jose Castillo, uh, Adrian Moore, and John Ryan he- Heathers, and Michael Bice. Again, sorry if I butchered any of the names. That 14 player, p- that 14 players for at m- most eight or nine bullpen places. The Padres wanted serious competition for relief roles, and they suddenly have it. Also, they also wanted to build a complete roster with a few roles to compete in the Dodgers. San Diego just might have built that too. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Peace out.